Okay, Emily, let's look at testing a six-pack IGBT. This, instead of being a dual pack, there's two IGBTs in here and only two free wheel diodes. This one has six IGBTs and six diodes. So if we look at these six diodes right here, we just test those with our meter on diode scale, just like any other diode. But the question is, where do we put our meter leads? Do you know? Mm -hmm. Well, look at this one here and see if we can figure it out. Say, for example, if we wanted to test this one, we would start, we want our red lead on this side and our black lead on this side. Where would we put our red lead? On you. U. Yeah, so do we see a U anywhere? Mm -hmm. We do. So, and then where would we put our black lead? P. Yeah, P. That's positive. So the plus right here is positive. If you'll look, this one is labeled, and I labeled the pins. This one here, it is labeled P and, neg and N for negative, positive and negative, and it is labeled U, V, W, but the pins are not labeled. Now on the dual pack, they are, so it's pretty, pretty simple. Plus, we just always remember it's pin four we need. Now on here though, it's, it's a little bit more complicated. So what you can get is the data sheet, and then it'll tell you the pinouts. And you just compare these pins with these signals here. Okay, so once you do it a few times, you kind of realize it's pin 2, then 6, then 10, then 15. So you can, you can kind of memorize it, but what we'll do is we'll look at this one right here. Let's see if you can test that diode. So let's go red to U and black to P. Okay, so that, that's a good voltage drop on a forward bias diode. Now just reverse those, and we should read OL. And we do. Okay, so now on the next one, we would want to put our red meter lead on V, and then our black would stay on P. So you can kind of see a trend going on here. Okay, so that, that reads bad. Let's take a look at this one. And that one is labeled V plus shorted, and that was V plus you were on, so that one's shorted. Let's just set it to the side, and let's read uh, one that reads good. Um, go ahead, red on V, black on P, and then you can kind of see a trend. Next, uh, you can swap them, and then you should read OL, which you do. Now go back to black on P, and this time, on, you're, yeah, you're going to go w. w. So you, you can probably tell now there's a little shortcut we can do. All right, swap them, and you should read OL, which you do. So voltage drop one way, OL the other way. So you can probably tell right now that a little shortcut without needing this schematic or having to memorize anything. We just checked this half right here. We didn't check these. Just put black on P, and then just go red to U, move it to V, move it to W. They read good that way, now just swap them. That's a little shortcut. Without, and then OL, OL, and OL. So that's good. Okay, so now let's get over to this side. Now how would we test this one here? So we could put red on N and then put black on U. So red on N. Okay, now swap them. You wanna do the shortcut? That's fine, do the shortcut, it's quicker. And just, you, we know we're gonna read a drop and then we know we're gonna read a drop. And then if we reverse it with black on N, okay, so now if we do black on N and then red on each one of the phases, we should read OL. And we do. Okay, so the shortcut is you just put one here, 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 and here, swap, and then switch over to here, put one meter lead here, 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 and here, and then swap. You read OL one way, a voltage drop the other way, they're good. That's the easy part. Now let's learn how to test the gate junctions. So that's where you need the data sheet and your pinouts. Okay, so we have that. Now what we're gonna do is move our meter to ohms. Okay. No, you just put it on yeah. capacitor. See, remember, 
Yellow is for diode capacitor. You're on ohms now. Oh. Okay, so let's start right here. Let's put one meter lead. It doesn't matter which on ohms. And then we're going to go to pin 10. And this should read continuity. The problem is, where's pin 10? If we take a look here, your data sheet will show you the pinouts if you look close. Yeah, but you don't even know where one starts. The only reason you know is because I told you. Oh. So I labeled these to make it easier, but you'll come to find out. Let's start with W, pin 2. All right, so the second one in, and you should read point 3. Almost a dead short. That's good. Now go to V and 6, and that's going to be the second one in right there. Try and only touch one pin. Okay, now go to um, U and go to pin 10. And that one's good too. Okay, now here's the tricky one. We come over here to N and we have to go all the way to pin 15. Okay, so let me show you 15. If we look over here, this pin right here is 13. So 14, 15. So third one in. Yes, third one in. And that reads good. So all the diodes and gates in this one. What about we didn't do P? Well, if you'll look at it, none of them... None of these go to P. Oh. See, the the negative side's a little different. So, see how that ohms out through here. The G and D, these two points are equal. I didn't draw the highlighter through them. Maybe I should have, but those points are equal. So, we're basically ohming this to this, this to this, this to this, and then N to that. And these three tie together on the negative side. So, and then eventually we'll try to take this apart and, and actually look at those little I had wires. Some jelly. Uh, yeah, just don't touch your mouth or anything afterwards. Wash your hands. It should just be silicone jelly, it's but who knows? Silly. There could be chemicals in there. So we want to. That's cool. Yeah, watch this. Just stick that up. Let's not mess with it too much. That one might be good. Somebody diagnosed it as bad, but I don't. I don't think it is. I think they misdiagnosed it. So. We just saved that one. This one was definitely bad. This one had a shorted, the shorted V plus. So all the gates read good. So let's just do our little shortcut test on this one on diode scale. See if you remember how to do it without any prints or anything. Okay, so. Just put one meter lead on black. I mean on negative, and then just go through each one. Just keep you keep that one and just move that one. So that looks good so far. Now just swap. Reads good, reads good, reads good. So three of those are good, but we're about to get to the bad one because I remember it was V plus. That reads good, bad, go to the next one. That reads good, now swap your meter leads. Reads good, bad, good. So that one's the odd one out. It, you know, it even read on ohms if we just ohmed it out. Go positive to V on ohms, and you'll see that it's bad. So here's positive, and that's not good. It shouldn't read like that. So go to go to any other one. Keep that on positive and go here. See, <clears throat> so you can see that that one's not good. So without memorizing anything, you could just do a quick test, and then if you can come in and just kind of remember pin two, uh, six. 10 and then 15 but really you should get the the data sheet <clears throat> on ones like that now these data sheets are wrong sometimes though <laughs> this one right here when we downloaded the sheet we did notice there was a mistake on it that's not correct so what we did we needed the sheet for the pinouts though to know the correct pinouts but we just went and found another six pack IGBT and you can see that this one is correct. It doesn't have that mistake here. Although the pinout on that sheet was different. So we used this pinout because this is the model IGBT we have. But it just, they just had a mistake. Somebody tied those together and just didn't catch it. I don't know. So if something looks funny on a print or a schematic or any data sheet, don't 100% trust it. There's a lot of mistakes out there.
So let's look at this, Sam. So that is the one that you had shorted right here. That one is bad. Okay, one thing I should mention is testing the diodes on a six-pack IGBT really is the same as a three-phase rectifier. So here's a three-phase rectifier circuit. Here's a three-phase rectifier in real life. And if you look, it's the same thing with the six-pack. They all got three-wheel diodes, same as this. And in some regards, they act exactly the same on a, on a regen drive. They will actually use these diodes. You'll just have another six pack up here and they'll be used to rectify the AC coming in. So your test would be exactly the same. If you know how to test a three phase rectifier, so go ahead and do that really fast. I mean, just put any one there and just go across. Yeah, go to the next one. You see these diodes are different, so the voltage drops a little different. Now just swap. And OL, OL, OL. So that, that side read good. Those three read good. Let's go to the other three. And OL, 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 and then we should read a voltage drop when you swap your meter leads. And we do. So that part of the test is, is no different. Uh, the only difference really is when we get into the, the gates and these control pins right here.